the woman who interviewed law professor Alan Dershowitz about Jeffrey Epstein's death in his prison cell has had a frightening experience. Dershowitz, whose client list formerly included the late financier Jeffrey Epstein, made headlines during the tense interview. Dershowitz made an appearance on the Kim Iverson show and things were going fine until Iverson asked Epstein, who killed himself in 2019. Iverson began the interview by asking about the Manhattan grand jury case against former President Donald Trump over the alleged hush money payment he made to an adult film star Stormy Daniels in 2016, which was related to the alleged affair they had back in 2006. Things took a turn when Iverson asked Dershowitz about his association with Epstein. Are you used to having people come on your show to talk about one subject and then sandbagging them on another subject without any warning? Dershowitz asked as he was clearly upset. This is the last time you'll have me on your show. I think I got what I needed out of you, Iverson replies. Dershowitz was also asked about Epstein killing himself. No of course not, wait, um, he didn't kill himself without the help of some people. He killed himself with the help of, um, guards. The night after the interview Iverson said that her cameras caught someone attempting to break into her home. I woke up at 5 a.m. thinking someone was trying to break into my house. I got up, looked around all my entry points, saw nothing, and went back to bed. Then at 6 a.m. my cameras went off picking up two people attempting to break into my home, she said. The former right-hand woman to Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell, is locked away for nearly 20 years in prison, but several cases against Epstein are not going away. Some have speculated that with recent lawsuits and court cases against Epstein and those who had connections to him, Maxwell could provide more information to help herself in the long run. Bill Clinton should be sweating bullets, reporter Carrie Donovan said. It has long been suspected by court watchers that a notorious list of clientele for Epstein, allegedly including Clinton, would eventually emerge. The shocking warning came out of a new documentary that investigated the role of Britain's Prince Andrew and his close ties as a client of Epstein's, when the comments were made that there could be further revelations about other clients of Epstein's because his madam, Ghislaine Maxwell who was recently convicted for crimes associated with Epstein has until June 2023 to cooperate with prosecutors, in possibly overturning more names. She is really the person who holds all the secrets, she added. This isn't the end of the story. Maxwell, who is serving a 20-year prison sentence, has been moved to a low-security prison in Tallahassee, Florida. Maxwell will be eligible for release on July 17, 2037. Explosive information has come to light as the public awaits the pending release of the full, client list, kept by the late convicted pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. The U.S. Virgin Islands government has unsealed portions of the federal lawsuit that had previously been redacted, some of which shows former J.P. Morgan executive, and later Barclay CEO, Jess Staley's relationship with Epstein. Staley and Epstein exchanged roughly 1,000 emails between 2008 and 2012. Newly unsealed information reveals an odd exchange between Staley and Epstein, where they make references to Disney characters, according to Fox News. These women were trafficked and abused during different intervals between at least 2003 and July 2019, when Epstein was arrested and jailed, and these women received payments typically multiple payments, between 2003 and 2013 in excess of $1 million collectively, according to the unsealed passages. Attorneys for J.P. Morgan responded in court to the U.S. Virgin Islands, alleging the territory did nothing to stop Epstein's sex trafficking operation and is deflecting blame by suing the bank for facilitating the now-dead financier's scheme. USVI's lawsuit is a masterclass in deflection that seeks to hold JPMC responsible for not sleuthing out Epstein's crimes over a decade ago, attorneys for JP Morgan wrote in the filing. Yet USVI had access at the time to the same information, allegations, and rumors about Epstein on which it alleges JPMC should have acted. 
Having sought and obtained more than $100 million from Jeffrey Epstein's estate and businesses for damages caused by his sex trafficking crimes, the United States Virgin Islands, USVA, now casts farther afield for deeper pockets. USVI did nothing to stop Epstein during this period, notwithstanding the fact that he registered with the USVI as a Tier 1 sex offender, J.P. Morgan's attorneys wrote.